Hey guys, so I thought I would start a new vlog. It is Wednesday, Wednesday. I just went to work. Our store was closed for a few days um, with some of the like protests and things in our area got a little bit um, more like looty-ish and they were a little bit worried about some of the businesses so they just closed us up for a few days. But we went in today with even shorter hours than before. I mean, I'm not even worried about that. I've been like glued to my phone and TV and, and, and my computer and probably everything else like you guys have been with everything going on. It's so heartbreaking, infuriating, so many things going on. And I've talked about that on my Instagram. I've posted a lot of things. so. I'm not going to dwell on it. I hoped to keep my videos mostly a place for you guys to escape. I have not been watching YouTube and I finally just watched one of Shanexo's videos today and it was really just nice to stop focusing and dwelling on everything for a moment because most of what you see is horrifying. Um, you know, there are some really great spots in it where you see some really wonderful things of people coming together and those moments are amazing but you're sifting through a lot of, you know, anger, hurt, just horror, really. So I've got to stop focusing on it so much because I found myself completely on my phone like all day long just looking at everything. And I talked to everyone at work and everybody felt the same way. And yeah, so dark times, but I mean, progress is worth it. So I went back to work today. I was not feeling it, I'm going to be honest. But I am really excited for things to come. I'm looking at possible furnishings for the new place, but I'd love to do maybe an empty house tour if I can get like an opportunity to film the house before we move in. I will because I may be able to, they're still finishing it. Some things that were being redone in the house before we, we move in. So uh, I may show you guys some progress because I have like a whole different like vibe that I want to do. And I'm not very good at decorating, but I'm going to try to do better. And I already bought a rug that I love and that's what I'm going to like pull from. It's got a little bit of color in it. So I'm going to pull from that. And I have, I have a lot of ideas, so I'll have to share a lot of that with you guys. It'll be fun. And yeah, that's really about it right now. Um, the past few days have been just a blur because I was waking up to go to work every morning not knowing if we were open or not. And finally today, we just, okay, we're open. I don't know. I'm rambling again. I keep doing that. Oh, God. So... I've got Tina and Snivels in here. I'll have to show you guys. I've been feel, feeling like kind of weird about filming and editing and uploading. I'm still like doing it some. Like I'm not completely stopping because, you know, like I said, we this is work that will be done for months and years. So, you know, we're not going to stop life entirely. But hopefully all trying to do better, if that makes sense. So I'm still going to be posting. But the last couple of days, just with everything being like at the height of everything going on, I just haven't been feeling it. I'm very excited to have a couple sponsored things. Like, you know, I'm very picky and choosy. Both of the things that I am doing sponsored are already brands that I've worked with before. Ones that I truly enjoy, truly love. Like, I love their products, the brands, uh, the people. So I'm excited that they want to work with me again, two of them, and I'm I'm stoked because I don't know what you know, it's always a little iffy the first time like doing something like that, which you guys probably if you don't do YouTube you may not know. I'm always very cautious and like mm, I don't know because you know I I never want to do something that doesn't feel right, doesn't feel like authentic. I know that's a stupid buzzword, but it's true. Like I want it to feel real for me. So the fact that it's two brands that I already know and I already love, it's like, yay, it's, it's more comfortable. Yeah, and I know I'm gonna be happy with the outcome. So I'm really happy about that. I cannot wait for my routine to change a little bit. It will be changing. A lot of news to come. If you guys are in like the weirdest mood ever, I'm right there with you. I feel so like lost. I've had a headache for three days and I think it's because I'm constantly staring at the screen of my phone. So I am trying to stop doing that so much. I hope that the rest of this vlog will be less chatty. I am, I've been talking for seven minutes and 15 seconds, so I'm going to try to cut some of that out. Hopefully it was only a couple minutes of talking, but, um, yes, I'm excited for future vlogs, like down the road when it's, to me more entertaining i know you guys are so kind and you say that you like the chit chat stuff thank goodness but yeah i i have big plans i have big plans for you guys and for me so let me show you my kitties and then i'm gonna go take a shower and relax what you doing baby huh? oh man yes darling hi and then do you have the cutest water beard ever
that baby. Darling, it's so beautiful. They love to sit here and watch lizards. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Say bye. There we go. Good Thursday morning. We've got three sentinels at the window. What are y'all looking at, babies? Hey, Blue. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'm getting set up to film. Hopefully, it's not so early that that weird light is going to come in. If so, I'm gonna try to block it out. I've got one thing to film with my backdrop for Instagram. And then I'm gonna film something else over here with my regular little dresser setup. So I've got some work to do. I'm also drinking some coffee. It's got some MCT in it, so it's looking weird. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey, handsome. Good boy. Yeah. Yes. Want kisses? Oh, rubs. Okay, he wants to give you guys rubs, not kisses. Both, both very good. Both very good. Mm. Yeah. Look how cute. I'm in Target. Ooh, I need to look for a couple of necessities, but might as well take a peek. Look at this winky lux. I think I've shown you guys this display before, but it's so cute. So cute. Ooh, this rogue. Keep watching all this stuff to see what I want for the new place. I'm probably getting ahead of myself. So cute. Ooh, there's a rolling pin. I need a new cutting board. My plastic one is so beat up. I love this mirror. Hello shoes. Um, but I feel like this stuff I need to wait until we're moved so we don't have to move all this breakable stuff. But that's how it looks. I think it looks really cute. I really love this as well. I like this lamp too. It's got like this little marble base, but it's pretty simple. I can't wait for you guys to see like the colors of the house so you guys can weigh in. Hey guys. Um, I didn't realize my face was so red until I got in here, but I went to work this morning and I have a four day weekend. So I was like kind of excited, you know, going to work, doing my thing, finishing my shift and then four days off. I literally got so sick when I got there. I started having like a really upset stomach and eventually I threw up. So I was only at work for like an hour. I'm drinking a Zevia. I highly recommend Zevia too. If you guys are like soda fiends, like I used to always want soda, like different sodas with different foods. Um, but I would drink like multiple sodas a day usually, probably like two. Um, right now I'm, I'm barely, I'm not even really finishing a whole one a day. I usually give the rest to Zach and like, here, finish this. Probably won't do that today though. <laughs> um, but they are like calorie free, no carbs, no sodium, no fat, no protein, nothing in these. So they're basically just like flavored. Um, they say you can even drink these when you're fasting. So if you like soda and you want an alternative, check it out. This one's Dr. Zevia. Don't expect it to taste like Dr. Pepper, but at first I was like, oh, I don't know. But I really got used to them and I love them now. So I'm still cutting way down on caffeine. So usually I'll drink about a half of a can um, and then for my morning, I have a half caffeinated coffee and that's it. So I have like basically like one caffeinated drink a day. That makes sense. What is going on? I went to Target and was trying to find any like Clorox wipes or knockoff, like any brand, Lysol wipes, whatever. No wipes whatsoever. So I got a couple cleaning things and let me tell you, I decided to get a cleaner with bleach, just like the Up and Up brand. I think that's what it's called from Target. And I had no idea that it was leaking in my basket and I was holding the basket and I think at one point I like switched it behind me like this because there was like people walking by and there was apparently that cleaner was leaking everywhere. So I have bleach all down the front, of, front and back of my black pants. And I swear I have like one pair of black dress pants and I refuse to buy more. <laughs> um, it's just been one of those days. I did receive a little package from, Chur from Truly Beautiful. 
I received a package from Truly Beauty, so I thought I would show you guys what I have. I am working with them for another video, which you guys know I already did once, and I loved everything. I'm still using um, all the products, I think. I'm using, I still use Unicorn Body Butter, but I have to admit I'm like hoarding that a little bit because it's so good. Um, those little like um, marijuana leaf like acne stickers are so good. I've been using those. Um, the serum. The cleanser, I'm like halfway through. I have that in my shower right now. I don't remember what, oh, the mask. I need to use the mask more because I don't know where I put it, um, but I really like their stuff. So anyway, I'm working with them again, but usually how it goes is I get the stuff, I use it for a while first to actually see how my skin's going to do. That way I'm not just like literally receiving a package and being like, oh my God, try this out, it's amazing. I can actually give you like my actual real thoughts on it. I picked out five items. This one is the Glass Skin Face Serum and it's cool because it's in this little jar so cute so this one yeah you just use it like a serum but I guess it's like just in a jar vegan fresh clean gluten-free cruelty-free non-gmo paraben free sea kilf aloe so much okay so I can't wait to try that one I'm also really stoked about this cleanser because I've been loving the other cleanser but my skin is a little too dry to use anything for acne all the time so I usually have been switching it out but this one is the super matcha so this one has green tea witch hazel avocado coconut and a vitamin E boost and I love that color, like a diet. I got Purple Rain Glow Serum Facial Facial <laughs> Facial Booster. It has retinol, glycolic, and antioxidant boost. Oh, good. Okay. I was thinking when I looked on the website that this was an oil. It's got a very like light oil texture though. And honestly, I love that it's called Purple Rain. It feels amazing on the skin. This item is really cool. It's called Star Kisser Jelly Lip Plumping Mask. So you literally put this mask on and then take it off. Come on, packaging right there. It has little stars in it. And it looks really cool when you have it on too because it's like this layer with stars and like little gold glitter. But you actually take it off and, the, and it like plumps your lips up like a mask. So I'm super excited to try that one out. And then this one is the Matcha Scrub Whipped Face Scrub. Whipped? How is the scrub whipped? <sighs> that smells good. It smells really fresh. It's a little bit more like grainy, but when you want like a really good exfoliation, you just have to be like more gentle with this one because it is kind of coarse. It has green tea, matcha, dead sea salt, and vitamin A. So that's the packaging on that one. Look at that color too, it's so cute. So of course I'll keep you guys posted on those items, but I'm gonna be doing a video. I'm definitely gonna use them for a couple weeks first and see how it goes. And they give me like a lot of creative freedom on what I wanna do and say, and I love that. Yeah, if a brand is like, you have to say this and this this I'm gonna be like no so anyway what else oh I'm in the middle of filming my hello happy review for the foundation stick from benefit but I decided to give it another day's wear test because the first day I was wearing a mask and it was really hot so I think tomorrow if I'm feeling okay I'm gonna do my makeup in the morning with the stick maybe try a different primer too like just basically do like another variation of the wear and but go about my normal day not wearing a mask because obviously it's gonna screw up the wear of it a lot so anyway I'm wearing like this oldest t-shirt ever like it's not distressed it's literally that old that's what's going on i still feel kind of crappy but i'm just gonna edit on the couch and i'm rambling again i promised i wasn't gonna do that in this video but um yeah whatever at target i was looking at all this like decor and stuff like seeing a piece here and there that i was like oh i could use this here and i'm so excited but i know i have to pull in the reins because i will literally buy a bunch of stuff and then get it there and feel like oh i shouldn't have picked this or that whatever so I need to like get in and put what I have where I want it to go and then decide like, okay, I need this and this, but I am picking up a few pieces of furniture like I told you guys. I really need to find a couch and I'm looking for like a, like a dark teal, if that makes sense, like a blue green, but really like a deep, like a rich color, like jewel toned. So that's kind of what I have in mind um, because I don't want to do white obviously i don't want to do gray because the walls are gray and i don't want to do tan because everything's kind of cool tone so the couch that we have now i may see if somebody wants to buy it locally or we might just put it in the third bedroom as like seating because i think zach's gonna use one of the bedrooms for like video games and stuff like that so that's gonna be like his deal but if he wants that couch in there for like chilling or if somebody wants to crash for the night they have a bed to sleep on or a bed because that couch is pretty comfy and it's you know sectional so there's a couple different spots but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling 11 minutes I can't believe this I need 
I don't know why I do this. I swear I'm going to start showing you guys more of what I'm doing and less just like chatter, but this is what I do every time I start to vlog. Okay, I'm done. So I hope you guys are doing good. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys, it's Saturday. I just took a shower and did some really hydrating skincare. I feel like my skin was really dehydrated. I don't know if it was because I was sick and maybe I was dehydrated overall. I don't know, but we're cooking dinner and I thought I was gonna show you I was going to. I thought I'd show you what we're cooking and a little bit of progress too. Good. So we cleared out some of these little cubbies, packed some stuff away. I went through all my Christmas decorations. So one of these is now not Christmas and it's actually like scrapbooks, yearbooks, photo albums, and DVDs. So some of this is empty now. This is stuff that I'm giving to my mom if she wants it and that bag too. Literally just so much Christmas stuff. So I packed away a bunch of my candles as well. Made some progress. I am cooking asparagus, which I am obsessed with. So I'm doing this keto style. Obviously this is still a lot of carbs for the asparagus, but we're just having chicken with cream cheese, bacon, and cheddar cheese on it. So it's just like protein and fat. So this is my, pretty much my carbs for the day. And it's so good. Also, we've been getting this brand of ice cream, Enlightened, um, which is really, really good. I typically get the peanut butter fudge in this brand, but they didn't have any. This typically has like four carbs for the whole thing, so like you can literally eat the whole pint. And then this one is the one I got because they didn't have the other one. This one's seven carbs in a pint. So a little bit more, but I'm going to try this one out and I'll let you guys know how it is. Keto bread and edamame literally nothing else i think hi guys it is now sunday so i am having a semi-relaxing day i am going to do my makeup in a little bit because i just decided not to do it yesterday but i just made a little lunch i'm having this is honestly just two tomatoes covered in ranch but i don't know it sounds really good to me i just didn't want to eat bacon <laughs> or eggs right now so i'm trying to just mix it up this will be a good portion of my carbs for the day but we're having taco bowls tonight which is not very carby at all really it's just like a little bit of seasoning lettuce and tomato but i don't we don't eat a lot of it so that will have a ton of like meat and cheese and sour cream so it'll be really fatty and i've already had coffee with mct so that's my little keto for the day and i am also watching the last season of 13 reasons why i think i only have maybe a couple episodes left. So I may just go ahead and like binge that out and then do my makeup um, when I'm done, which will still be like early afternoon. It's only 11 right now. So I actually got up fairly early. I got up at like nine. Yeah, and I have a four day weekend, so I'm just enjoying that. So that's what's going on right now and I'll talk to you guys later. I just had to show you guys. We pulled all our Christmas decorations out of the garage, like I told you guys, and Mr. Minner's loves being on top of them so we actually put a blanket there for him <laughs> but we're trying to empty out the garage so that when it is time we have it empty and can put one of the cars in the garage to pack up the moving truck because there's a lot to do <sighs> oh boy but i've done some stuff in here like i hope to vlog oh sorry showed you the trash um like i've already cleaned out some spaces this had cat stuff in it so we've got a little container for that um I had under here a bunch of like excess bowls and stuff, but now we're just down to two cookie jars, which I want to wash before I pack away. Making some progress. Um, I got rid of like some excess stuff in here that I didn't necessarily need right now. I still have a mess right here, as you guys can see. Did I open my FabFitFun with you guys? Am I? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hey guys, so I thought I would unbox my FabFitFun. I don't know why I'm just not feeling like sitting down and filming like a formal video. Like my stomach's still a little iffy, so I don't know if it's that. I just have been kind of like binge watching. I finished the last season of 13 Reasons Why. What we'll album? So let's go ahead. I'm gonna put my box down here. This is my summer box. I honestly could not remember most of like what I picked or anything like that. I, I didn't really remember this one. Also, I seem to get it really late. I don't know why, but I feel like a lot of people got their boxes way, way before me. So yeah, I just got mine yesterday. So I've got our little magazine. 
It's a cutie. This bag, I think I might have picked this bag because I didn't really care for any of the options, but I'm gonna give this to my mom. It's just like right up her alley. It's like a, I don't know what you call that. Is that straw or what? It's like woven. It's got a little scarf on it. I have to admit, the little scarf is cute and I do like it. I just don't really carry bags like this very often. This I'm excited for. This is the R & Co Television. Perfect hair shampoo and perfect hair conditioner. That's what they look like right there. We got from a silk to the satin pillow sleeve. I'm excited about this. I do have a satin pillowcase, but it would be nice to have, you know, like an option to switch it out. Oh, that's weird. So it's only got it on the one side. Now, oh, that is really soft. But I feel like that's like totally skimping out because who doesn't love to flip their pillow over onto the cool side? You know what I mean? So, hmm. So this is open on both ends. Why couldn't it just be a pillowcase? Whatever. Okay. I guess you just slip this over your regular pillowcase maybe. Just as like a little little smooth side. It feels nice. I don't think it feels any nicer than the one I got at TJ Maxx though, honestly. And I'm sure the cost of that one's like way up there. They know damn well they could have just made that a pillowcase with both sides. Okay. We got the Kula Mineral Face Sunscreen Matte Finish. This will be really good for the summer because down here in Alabama it is about to be hot as Satan's balls and you know, you know how that is. So that's what that looks like. I got the Spun Gel Hand Cream Coconut Verbena. Ooh. I'll be honest, like I haven't always been, my forehead's itching. <laughs> I haven't always been the biggest fan of Spun Gel. Like I got one of their like shower things and it was so heavily scented that I was just like mm, no and it just wasn't a scent that I liked but this smells amazing it feels really nice too it doesn't feel overly heavy my hand feels like smooth and hydrated but not like greasy is this Turaco foot cream Sicilian blood orange foot cream my heels are a disaster area so maybe I should use this is this weird? I'm gonna put this on my heel and see if it does anything. I don't know why. I have like the worst dry cracked heels my dad does too. Is that hereditary? Cause mine are awful and it seems like nothing helps them. Okay, it feels pretty nice. I'll have to actually just use this cause I don't have, I don't think I have any like dedicated foot creams or if I do, I don't remember. It's got like this mostly orange, but also like a hint of menthol. Is that a thing? Does this have menthol in it? I made it up. I also got Winky Lux, the Unibrow. I actually really like this brow pencil, but I do have, actually, I think I might have more than one, and I know I'm getting another one too, so I'll probably put this in a giveaway. I wanna do a giveaway on Instagram really soon. I'm probably gonna put that together tomorrow, and, and I don't know. I have a lot of stuff, and I wanna share the wealth, and thank you guys for your support and all that. Okay, just one more item. This looks like a little, ceramic decorative vase is this a vase that you're supposed to just sit there with nothing in it or would you put a real flower in this let me know i like the color of it it is cute it's different but would you put real flowers in this or is this one of those things that's just supposed to sit there you know i see people with vases like this just kind of sitting out and i don't know how to decorate so i know nothing about it so i'm not dissing on the style at all just saying like i'm lost when it comes to stuff like this okay i really didn't think that this was like a giant bundle but apparently it is so this is gonna be like <sighs> way too big but i wonder if a little bit of this would look cute in that let's let's pretend for a second that it looks like this a little bit is that cute you like it i don't know overall not a bad box I wasn't super excited based off of like picking stuff and all that and seeing the spoilers I was like mm. but overall I actually really like it and I needed shampoo and conditioner I really need to restock on my grande shampoo and conditioner like it is amazing somebody just asked me the other day for a recommendation for like more fine hair or thin hair and I love it like I finally feel like I have a, a lot of hair and I do have a lot but my my hair strands are really fine and breakable my hair is really healthy it just really 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 needs a cut and like now more than ever I was already way past due before COVID now I'm just like way beyond past due. I'm rambling again, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching the vlog. I'm actually going to edit it right now. So I'm gonna chill on my couch, do a little editing. Keto's going good too, quick update. But I'm only like a week in. I tested my ketones today and they said I have like a small amount of ketones. Um, I actually think I've been eating too much asparagus. Like I love asparagus, but I've been cooking like a whole bundle up and I've been like 
overdoing it. So I probably need to do like half a bundle of asparagus. I think I'm just like, I'm having too many like fibrous carbs, but I also eat like cashews and stuff. So yeah, I haven't been like super strict on keto yet, but tonight should be good. Cause like I said, taco bowls and yeah, that's really it. I'm getting to that point where I'm not like super, super hungry, which is good. Um, cause it helps with portion control. Oh, helps with portion control and all that. So that's what's going on. Thank you guys for watching the vlog. Be sure to check out my end screen in a second if you're still watching. Also, thank you if if you have been one of the many people recently who have used my coupon code for Copare or Nug or um, Goalie, my apple cider vinegar gummies. If you've done that, thank you so, so much. It's making like the idea of you know, doing this full time seem a little bit more reasonable to have that support. So the support means a tremendous amount. Like I said, I have a ton of links in my in my description box. I will always keep it real with you when it comes to the products and the ones that I have codes for. Obviously, I am affiliated with the brand, but there's also a ton of lists of just like shopping links where I have honestly just went in so that I get a tiny, tiny percentage of somebody use the links, but I'm not actually affiliated with the brands. So I know that sounds kind of weird. It was just something I'm trying out. It's like an advertising thing, but it costs you absolutely nothing extra and you can still use any discount code any promos whatever you want to do all it does is give me a tiny little bit for having someone use my link versus just going to the website directly that's the only thing that changes so yeah thank you guys for the support i appreciate you guys watching so i will see you really soon in my next video bye